My name is Ashley. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back for another live chat on my channel. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday to you. If you are watching the replay, thank you so much for spending some time out of your day whenever you're watching and watching this replay. I certainly appreciate it. And if you are here for the live, thank you so much for coming through and spending some time in the chat. You know, we always have a great time. Um, chatting it up about makeup and other things that come across the uh, discussion table. So thank you so much for coming through. Um, tonight, we are going to be combining my favorite palettes. If you saw the um, Natasha Denona ranking that I did on Mo Makeup Mo Beauty's channel, um, that she and I did the live that we did together, um, then you know my top two palettes were the Glam palette and the Lila palette. So I'm going to be combining those in a couple looks tonight on the channel. And um, if you are interested in seeing what looks I come up with, then definitely stay tuned. If you have not subscribed, certainly hit that subscribe button to see more live chats with me, more uh, makeup reviews, certainly hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy this live, if you enjoy this replay, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And hey guys, hi, how are you? Hi Mo, hi Lock Maiden. How are you ladies doing this evening? Hi Chai. You guys. There is no new makeup tonight. No new makeup. I was so disappointed. I guess I misread my Bergdorf Goodman like shipping emails because they only shipped the gift with purchase. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I got two large boxes with one tiny little thing in each in each of them. I couldn't believe I never heard of a company sending you only the free item. <laughs> So today I got shipping notifications for my actual purchases and they're not going to be here till Friday. So my Tom Ford stick foundation will be here on Friday as well as the other items that I picked up. I have like, you have plenty. <laughs> I do have plenty. I have plenty of makeup. I don't need more. <laughs> Chai, you're funny. Yes, I do have plenty. Um, but yeah, you all know, because last night I told you before we got off, um, you know, that we would look at the Tom Ford stuff and it's not happening tonight. So yeah, that was a bit disappointing. You know, you said Nordstrom does that. That's crazy. I think it's such a waste of a box. You guys should have seen the size of the box that this little SK2, you know, sample came in. It was funny. I'm just drinking some flavored water. Um, so I figured... Lock Maiden, I was thinking about you today because last night you posed a wonderful question about this. Does it dry down or, you know, and it does dry down a little bit. I didn't answer you though. I didn't answer you last night. So I do apologize about that. Um, it dries down a little bit, you know, I don't have it on yet, but this Oryx stuff, it dries down not to a mat, but it's still, I feel like it feels a little, still a little bit sticky, but not like your hair is going to stick into it. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. It, it just dries down like a normal foundation, kind of. And certainly, yes, it is a waste. It is a waste. I was like, what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, my gosh. The red cup special. I know. I was thirsty. So I, I was like, I'm going to come on with my drink anyways. So I'm going to put this on. And I'm going to just do the same foundation we did yesterday, which is the Huda Beauty um, foundation in Nutmeg. So how are you all doing this evening? I feel like I've been running for the past couple couple evenings because I didn't get to put my little premiere thing up again tonight. So um, I do apologize about that. But if you have your notifications on, set to all, then you should see the notification when, hopefully, when I go live, even if I don't put up a... Um, you know, even if I don't put up the premiere and this hair is, it's supposed to be like a bang situation, but it doesn't really work when you're trying to do your makeup. So it's, <laughs> I'm trying to smash it to the, <laughs> smash it to the side. Hi, Molly. Hi, Kima. Hi, Monique. The love scene thingamajig is excellent. Oh, good. 
Good. I'm glad you like it. It is an interesting little tool and stuff. I still have to get used to it because um, I still <laughs> I pull out. I'm using a Goldstone. I just decided to use the Art Goldstone to dab it in, and we're gonna blend it all out. We'll see how this looks. Um. Hi, uh, John Vier. Hopefully, I'm saying it right, but I feel like I'm not. Um. Yeah, oh, Sephora. Yeah, they Sephora in their samples. I, I select them, but I know the likelihood of me actually getting the sample I selected is very low. <laughs> and speaking of Sephora, I need to put a notification on to try to get my $100 coupon. Or, you know, the 100 yeah, the $100 coupon. That blended together nicely. That blended together nicely. Okay. So today for my um oh thank you, thank you. And hopefully how do you say your name? I don't like wanna, you know, make sure I say it correctly. But thank you for coming over from Mo's channel. I certainly appreciate it. That live was so fun. Uh, mm, okay. But today, uh, during the day, I did play with the Auric products again. So I wore this, not a Goldstone, but I wore Axonite by itself. Um, and then I passed, to set it down, I used the Fenty uh, foundation powder. Of course, with concealer uh, to brighten my under eye area and stuff. And it looked really nice and it lasted all day. So, and I didn't get like overly oily. So I put it on probably around, it was before Jada woke up. So it was, I would say it was around 12 o'clock and I just took it off before this live. So it lasted a decent amount of time. And then the eye product, it worked better when I... Um, Put the concealer down. Like I use the e.l.f. concealer because that concealer is decent thickness and it dries down matte. And then I also set it with a powder and then I went on with my cream. And I got some nice coverage with the cream product, this Auric cream product here. And I'm still not a big fan of the topper, but the cream worked better than I uh, experienced yesterday. So I did. I would say that. Um, so, yeah, I had a better experience with the eye stuff today. Hi, Marlo. How are you? Um, Mo, did you get your Auric order? And if so, have you tried it? You got thoughts? Or are you probably going to share it in a video, so you don't have to share it now. Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to use the same. I've been using the Too Faced Concealer real quick. Oh, and I think my uh, Pat order is supposed to be here on Friday too. So, but tomorrow we're doing a black history, no, well, not black history, but a black owned makeup brand full face. So I'm going to do my best to pick out products that I haven't shown on the cha channel recently as far as like, you know, using them on the channel. So, um, so yeah. Yeah. Yep, so um, except for like the stuff that I wear that I use all the time, so I'm thinking I'll probably still use my Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder and stuff, but you know what I mean. The main stuff I'm trying to gonna pick out items that I haven't used on the channel yet, so.
Oh, you guys are talking about returning foundation. I saw your review today, Marlo, on the Morphe Foundation. I'm glad you had a good experience with it. I also looked at this uh, review from Wayne Goss, and he had a good review for the Huda, the new Huda uh, Foundation. I mean, he was saying, of course, if you like full coverage, then it's right up, you know, it's a good full coverage foundation. Okay, and now that that's done, I'll put on the powder. What am I talking about? My, uh, my Pat McGrath powder, as usual. As usual. Oh, yes, you did have a good review for uh, the Huda Foundation as well. Um, yeah. So it looks like Chanel has come out with a new collection. Are people getting that collection or getting anything? The thing that intrigued me was the highlight, but I've done a lot of purchasing recently, so I'm going to pass. <laughs> I have uh, the Natasha Denona nude. I need a nude foundation or not, not, not I mean nude foundation. The I need a nude highlighter that came um, last Thursday, and then the Pat highlighter is coming, you know, on Friday or something. So I'm like, I don't need to order another highlighter, but it looks really pretty. Nope, the new formulation is fragrance free. I don't mind the fragrance one, so I still have the fragrance, the the one loaded with fragrance. <laughs> They've got a new collection. Um, I saw on Mo's community tab, she posted about the new highlighter. I can't think of the name because I don't know, La Pearl or something like that. Less Pearls or Less Pearl, La Pearl, whatever. Something with Pearl, okay, <laughs> in the name. So that's. And then they had like an eyeshadow palette and some lip products and some other items as well. So, yeah, it seemed like it was a whole range of a whole range of stuff. You said you like uh, like it, but you don't wear it because of the fragrance. Yeah, I'm not too um, impacted by the fragrance, thankfully. So, yeah, I'm just using the Fenty Match Stick for my contour. You said you're getting overwhelmed with your eyeshadow collection. I'm, I feel like saying I'm not, because I don't feel like, but I feel like I just go to the same things. Like when I think of what I want to use, it's, I want to use Natasha and Pat. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I gravitate towards the same things. So it's an interesting thing. You're not feeling the color story. Yeah, I looked at Michelle Wong's um review today and she said it was like a very light wash of color as far as the eyeshadow palette that came out is concerned so i figured that wouldn't be for me but mo did a haul or oh yeah i think it was yeah i think it was a haul uh last week and she had this palette that had like a tealy green deep shade 
I don't know, I have to move as I'm describing the shade as if that helps you to envision what the, <laughs> what the color is. But the color story on this palette that Mo showed looks so nice. I didn't go purchase it, of course, because I mean, come on, calm down, Ashley. But it looks so pretty. I want that one. It looks really nice. So, yeah. Kima, you said you are excited about the new Huda Foundation. You love the coverage. I do too, man. When people say they don't like full coverage, I love it. <laughs> I mean, I don't wear it all the time, but... Uh, the no fragrance version is going to be good as well. I'm thinking so too. So, yeah. I wonder if she's going to transform all of her products to fragrance free. Okay. Oh, Kima, I was going to ask you, did you buy that Yano series from Beautylish? You know I didn't. <laughs> I wanted to get something, but the brush, I, I just, I just didn't, I didn't. Okay. I can put some brows on now. Chai, you said you prefer light to medium. Yeah. You did. Okay. Do you did they come in in the mail? Did you like do you like them? They look pretty, man. They look really nice. I like the simplicity of the design. It's not like I don't know. I like a wonderful, colorful, you know, design and stuff, but they just look so sleek with the just all black and stuff. It they just look really nice. Hi, Lori. How are you? You said the brush are quite large and you didn't realize they would be that big. S series from Hakuhodo. Okay. And you said you're going to use these brushes a lot. That's good. Get that. You get your money's worth and all that. That's good. Okay, cool. Thank you for coming through. I wanted to tune into yours. I was just, I was cooking at the last minute. I don't know why I didn't start cooking earlier, but it seems like time has been really getting away from me uh, the past couple of days. I'm like, oh, before I know it, it's seven some. I need to cook. Okay. You like large, you might buy them because you have you have no Hakuhodo. Yeah, I've only got one Hakuhodo brush. <laughs> Individual kisses from God. That's very nice. I like that. Does anyone have their brows microbladed or tattooed? I hope. Oh. You can see that I obviously do not. <laughs> Does anybody? I'd be curious to know that as well. I um, I know it's popular to do. I feel like I just, I see YouTubers and stuff doing it. But um, yeah. Was it a good experience for you, Chai? Are you gonna like get it touched up? It 
Same. Same. What in the world? Let me turn my phone off. It just started playing a show I was watching. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I want it. But I don't know. Wow, it lasted two years. That's awesome. Oh, that's okay, love mate. I appreciate you coming back and watching the replays. You be coming back and watching and making comments and stuff. I appreciate that. But yeah, I understand work and scheduling and stuff like that. Oh, you say you're tattooed down your torso, so it's okay. Well, that makes sense. You said um, you're going to start your process tomorrow. Okay, cool. Well, let us keep us posted. I'm sure it's going to look nice. I would try. I would try it. I would, um, you know, of course, I want to give my husband buy in. I'm not sure if he's feeling it, putting the ink in my skin or whatever like that. So, but um, yeah. It's because it would just. The brows are like the thing that you have to do. I mean, you don't have to. If you have good brows, for me, it's the thing that I, I just have to do it. Let me get it over with and then get on with the rest of my stuff. So if I could have them already done, come on now. Yes, honey. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, you're not scared. Good. I don't have any tattoos. Right. Yeah. The convenience is, um, the convenience is really tempting. Oh my goodness. If only I could just go back in time and just tell myself to stop with the tweezers, it would just make things so much easier now. <laughs> you said you scared people. Yeah. I, I don't care. I mean, I do go out without them. Um, so it's just like, it is what it is. But I would prefer if they were done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, well, yes, that sounds um, that sounds like plenty. So far, I've only had one surgery in my life, which was my baby, my baby girl coming on out. So, oh, good. That's good, Kima. That's good. Okay, you guys. Oh, let me do the, um, I'm going to put this, you know, on the high points of the cheekbones again, like we did last night. And then we can get into the eyes. Or I'm going to put some highlight on top of this because I haven't shown you guys the, I need a nude highlighter from Natasha that I got. Oh, good. Yeah, that makes sense, Chai. This is the Goldstone one that I've been using. Yeah, I say the same thing, Monique. Um, yeah. Because before I had my baby, I'd never stayed the night in the hospital, which is very... That's a that's a blessing. So certainly. 
Okay. There we go. Good, good, good. Now, I got the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Highlighter. And I know I'm late to the party. I know, but... I got it when I got my placed my Beautylish order for my um, face one. You, <laughs> we all have different things we are blessed with. I'm a walking black chick with a fat flat butt. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yes. We are all blessed in different ways, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> this highlighter oh my gosh I like this man I think someone told me it was going to be too icy but I don't think it is at all it is so smooth and so nice <laughs> oh my gosh I like this highlight. I know, and it's not, this isn't the first time I'm using it. It's not. Y'all know I couldn't wait this long to use the product that came into my home. But this is so good. It's really nice. Yeah, I should have done that. I didn't. Why didn't I? I don't know why I didn't. I didn't really purchase it. Well, I didn't purchase anything during her sale. And I probably should have because I paid full price for this. But it is what it is. Yes, I'm, have, I'm over here cracking up at her description of herself. <laughs> <laughs> she sure is. You said you got the star palette and the tin pan. The star palette looks nice. And I had a dupe of it. And when I realized, because I, it was, I got it before I realized that the company was like a duping company and stuff. I thought they had just come up with some cute, color story and now I know it's a Natasha Denona you know knockoff I guess so I want the real one eventually I will eventually eventually <laughs> you guys okay there we go now eyes I'm gonna put why not just put this elf Concealer on. It's a good concealer if you like matte concealer. It dries down, you know, nice and matte. Ashley, she didn't listen. Girl, she received an email that says the order will be delayed 21 days. Oh, heck no. Nah. She said, <laughs> you told your friend not to purchase during the launch. Oh no, that is unacceptable. Thank God mine didn't. <laughs> I didn't get that email. Thank God. You guys are cracking me up. Y'all over here talking about your flaws or what you deem to be flaws, your different characteristics. You guys are cracking me up. Lori says she's got a five head, Chai says she's got 11. A size 11 shoe. I know, Lori. I would cancel too. Ashley, it ain't here yet. What's not here? Are you talking about my order? You got, oh my lord. Okay, you said you got the dupes. 
I know it's not here, but the thing is, it said, <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. Okay. I'm not going to get that email. Okay. I'm not. I got the shipped email, not a delay email. Thank you, Lori. And now UPS, I know they got me. Okay. <laughs> I know they got me. I know they've got me. They got my package coming. Okay. You're supposed to be here this weekend. Mine's supposed to be here. I'm thinking Friday. Yes, it has to be Friday because I didn't get my UPS email. So I did not get my UPS email because I'm on the UPS, you know, <laughs> email notification. When a package is coming to my house, they send me an email and a text. <laughs> like, <laughs> UPS is good, man. They keep to them, you know, tracking times, you know, so. Um, okay, we're all set now. Um, ooh, okay. Glam and Leela, Glam and Leela. Okay, let's go. Let's go, go, go. What are we gonna do? So I wanna do something bright and see how it combines with the glam. So let's see what I'm gonna go, what I'm going to go in with is this one, amethyst, okay, so let me get my um, microfiber towel and wipe, 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 okay. And I'm gonna put this right here on the outer V and blend it up into the crease. <laughs> she said, Ashley didn't say that about UPS the other day. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. No one's allowed to talk about UPS. All right, come on and focus camera. Thank you. Okay. This is such a pretty palette. Oh, um, this one is the Blender Pro from Miss Sonia G. Okay. I'm going to take now, let's see, this shade here on the left, or, well, You'll see it on the left, but it's on my right. Hi, Amanda. Thank you for coming. Nude Vino. Hi, Lorraine. Yep, Sonia G. Sonia G. This is turning real. It's getting real blown out, that purpley blue tone okay you know what i want to do i think i'm going to do a halo eye you uh, just uh, i like halo eyes so i'm going to take it on my finger on the inner corner and i did not put any glitter glue down because i forgot <laughs> but looking nice and bright either way oh my gosh ordered some refer brushes and they're still not here. Yeah, I went onto their site uh, like a couple of weeks ago just to see if there's anything I wanted to order and I just didn't buy anything. But I remember when I had purchased, um, when I had purchased before, when they had initially started getting popular, they came pretty quickly, but that stinks. Lorraine, you said a love you love a halo. Thank you. Chai, you said you started working out. <laughs> You're weak like a baby. 
word. <laughs> oh my gosh. So uh, Chai just said rougher comes within days. So um, did Aces, did you have to reach out to customer service or something? Or did they send you an email? <laughs> Hi, JC. You said you bought a Laura Mercier foundation from uh, TJ, Ma TJ Maxx yesterday. What foundation is it? I'm going to take some glitter glue so that the, at least the center can be real popping, you know. Put that right on the center. Dab it out a little bit. Dab, dab, dab. Cute, cute, cute. Amanda, you said you started working out too? <laughs> okay. That's nice. Hi, Violet. How are you? I saw your comment today. I had, I saw all the comments from last night's live. I just haven't been able to, I haven't had the opportunity to get back to respond to them. Okay, but you said it's, um, it's a little too dark. Okay, so in the glam, going back to the glam. <sighs> okay, so I want to use, ah, okay, I think I'm gonna use this shade called Center Eyelid and I have not rearranged my palette. I did say that to you guys um, in, the live that I haven't rearranged my palette. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Are you kidding me? Okay. I don't know why I act like this every time I use these palettes because it's just, it's, you would think I never used them before. Look at that shine. Are you kidding me? Oh gosh. You guys. Hi, Pauline. How are you? Oh, Lorraine, you love cool tones? I sure do, too, lady. Oh, they get me, man. They get me. Okay. Man, Amanda, you said your therapist and coworker said you should. You force your coworker to work out with me. He wants to channel my therapist. That's funny. I know I should, um, I know I should, uh, do some working out, but right now I'm just working on the eating portion. Me and my husband are on a healthier eating journey together. So, and it's been going well for the past couple of weeks. We're on week three and stuff and we're both down some pounds and stuff. So yeah, we're, ex we're excited. Kima, you said you love your glam palette and you did rearrange your shades. Okay. Yeah. And so since I do the YouTube thing and stuff, I figured it'd probably be easier for me to explain if I didn't rearrange them. And I think I said Paul. Oh, yes. Pauline, you did say you're well. That's good. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate you coming to the live. All of you guys, I do. I know some of you guys are newer to my channel and stuff and came on after I did the combination with the combination, the collaboration with Mo. So, I, yeah, thank you guys. What changes have we made? We're on Weight Watchers. I've been on Weight Watchers like probably like four, okay, not four times, but three times, I think, before this. And so I did it successfully when I was single before um, he and I got engaged and all that stuff. And I lost a decent amount of weight. And then I tried two other times by myself. He wasn't interested in doing it then. And it's just a lot more challenging when you're <laughs> trying to do too. Like I'm trying to maintain my eating and then make, you know, cook for the family and stuff like that. Granted, it was just he and I, but you know what I'm saying? So now we're doing it together. We're both tracking our stuff and everything and making good meals together, um, you know, together. So when I make a meal that's healthy and stuff like that, 
he's not out trying to go to Penn Station and get a sandwich. <laughs> you know, that type of thing. So it's, it's just really been good. Granted, we're starting week three, so, but it's been working well. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Wow. Two years ago, you reached your goal of 100 pounds off. That is awesome. That is awesome. Congratulations, Lorraine. Leela and Metropolis are your favorites. Okay, cool. Um, Amanda, yes and yes. We have not been back since you guys left to get that seafood boil. We have not. Um, yeah, we have not. Because... What? Why haven't we been back? I don't know why we haven't been back. Maybe you're just waiting on you guys to come back again after this whole thing clears up. And then, and then the seafood boil, those types of, of items are lower on the Weight Watchers thing. So, yeah. <laughs> I put my nose again. All right. Oh, JC, you said you pay for Weight Watchers but haven't been using it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's good um, so far. You know, I know that. I mean, I said it was good before, and then I got off of it. So, I totally understand. Hey, Vicky J, how are you? What do I cook? So a lot of chicken and a lot of uh, fish because those are, if you're familiar with Weight Watchers, it's a lot of, um, you're tracking your points and stuff. And so different foods, you know, translate to different points. And so the meat, like the seafood and um, chicken and stuff, they have like a lower point value. So I've been making a lot of um, fish or a lot of fish and a lot of chicken and stuff. We had crab cakes the other night. I've never made a crab cake, never had, you know, lump crab and stuff. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. And there were just three points. I mean, each and I'm JC, uh, you know, know what I'm talking about and stuff like that. As far as like the, the low point values, because for instance, I get 30 points a day. 30 points a day. Um, and so, yeah. So to have a meal that is three points for the main item is just fantastic. Vegetables are zero points and stuff like that. Are you hungry throughout? I do get hungry sometimes, but the only reason I would stay hungry is because I didn't go and like get some carrots or something like that. Um, because there's a lot of, for me, zero point items. Um, because the way Weight Watchers, they're re they've reconfigured the way they're doing this stuff. I'm going to um, use this duo chrome shade here. Um, they've reconfigured how they put, they put you in groups now. I'm in a group called the green group. And so for me, the only items that are zero points are like, fret, like vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. So if I get hungry, I can go get a handful of like baby carrots or have a salad or eat fresh cucumbers and stuff like that. Or of course, eat bananas, grapes, cherries, you know, stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. You know, it's just a matter of having the stuff available for you to eat. So, yeah. I've never had crawfish, Vicky J. Um, my sister had them. So before this whole pandemic thing, my sisters came and I was able to have a baby shower. It was so awesome. They can't. Oh my gosh. It was just so because they've never been to visit. My sister Amanda drove them out here. It was just an amazing time. Anyways, my little sister, she got all these crawfish and they looked so gross. <laughs> She was eating. I'm like, I, I've never. So needless to say, I've never had one. But she said they're really good. I've never, I've never had a crawfish before. So I'm putting that red shade between the gold and the purple. It's not really red. It's, it's a shiftiness. 
Hi, Nikki. I don't think I said hi. Hello, Nikki. How are you? Thank you for coming through. And you guys, if you enjoy this live, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. This is looking interesting. This purple with the red tone and the gold. You said you never ate one either. They're baby lobsters. That's what they looked like. And she had so many of them. I'm like, girl, and she's so little. She's like so petite and stuff, like real. <laughs> she had so many crawfish. I'm like, what? Oh, foundation. Foundation, again, is the Huda Beauty. I only use one pump of this. And then I mixed it with a pump of the Auric Goldstone and blended it all together. And that is the foundation for today. This is cute. I'm going to put a little bit more gold just because it got a bit covered up. Okay. And now that I've done that, I want to deepen out this outer corner. So I'm going to put the lash line shade right there. You showed off your crab leg cracking skills. Yes. So the interesting thing is, Amanda, that we found another place that does the seafood boil kind of thing that's closer to our home, but it's not as good as the one we had when you guys were here. And we still don't have a crab leg cracker. <laughs> I just go with my hand. <laughs> um, Nikki, did you did I try the foundation stick? No, because gosh, because um Bergdorf Goodman Goodman got me. Okay, I never thought they would just ship out a sample. But that's what actually got shipped out was the samples that I selected instead of my actual product. So my actual products aren't going to get here until Friday. So yeah. So I won't be able to try it until then. <laughs> okay. I said I was going to use that dark shade. The lash line item. And I'm going to just pop this on this outer corner and I know I'm putting it on top of that like darker purple shade that we put there initially but it's just going to add a nice little amount of depth without being too intense because I'm putting it on top of that metallic shade so oh and you guys I ordered more lashes <laughs> I ordered more lashes I ordered the classic charm that Vicky J recommended from Chandelier Lashes. Uh, Vicky J's um, bomb makeup tutorial that was posted last night. Certainly go and check it out. That video reminded me to place my order for the Chandelier Lashes. So I'm excited to try those. I was going to do more, but I'm like, I am a newbie to the lash thing, especially to like the nice and big glamorous ones. So I'm excited to try those when they come. All right. So that's cute. I think there's a cute little eye look combining these two palettes. I did use a couple of shades from each. Nice and purple. You said, uh, you mean, the, I'm, I'm sure you mean the, uh, what is that one called? Axonite? You know what? I think it's a little, when I put it on alone, Axonite by itself, I think it is a little like red or maybe it's, maybe it's just too, I don't know. I think it has a little, a twinge too much red for me, but it's good. Um, But I, I would like, I know, I know what you mean. <laughs> Yeah, but I would I would like a shade between Goldstone and Axonite, and that would be perfect. But, you know, 
for just a little something something it's cool as far as the shade is concerned You said axonite is listed as neutral. Interesting. And it probably, maybe it is. It's just like some type of undertone difference for me. It's not real noticeable, especially when I put my concealer and stuff on. But yeah, it's just a bit off, is, you know. But it's not real, you know, bad not bad at all but you know what I'm trying to say <laughs> that's fine it's understandable you all are talking about traveling and things like that I've not been to Savannah I've not been to Seattle there's a lot of places that I would like to go and you know, experience just even here in the U.S. Um, all right, so for the brow bone, let's try center eyelid. The shade there. And then I'm gonna put the same shade on the inner corner. Oops. Okay. And for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna take the lash line shade there and sweep it on my lower lash line. You said you've been all over the U.S., but you still have a place, a few places to visit, like North Carolina, New Mexico, Maine, and Alaska. Alaska sounds interesting. I don't want to go, but it sounds interesting <laughs> just because I don't want to be cold. <laughs> I'm like, no, thank you. But it's, it's I've here heard it's beautiful. And it's a beautiful place to go and cruise. Someone in our family has gone on like an Alaskan cruise and she said it was good. Okay. Oh, and just to FYI, I just added some of this middle shade, Amar, that shade there, to add a little bit of color on that lower lash line. Thank you, jean Pierre. I think I just heard that little baby cry. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to do more neutral with a pop of color. Okay. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah, just ride on through. <laughs> ride on through the cold weather. <laughs> Hi, Sharice. How are you? Okay, let's go with the smoke shade. And I'm gonna wipe my brush off. I'm gonna take my same Blender Pro and put this in the crease. You said you would want to go to Alaska. You just don't wanna eat any moose or reindeer. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound appetizing to me either. Okay. So it's a nice, cool tone, little situation. And Add some decent depth for a subtle crease thing. 
crease thing. You know what I mean? Some subtle color in the crease. <laughs> subtle color in the crease. You would try dancer and prancer if they're a girl. Oh my goodness. This is hilarious. Jeez, I would try dancer and prancer if they're grilled to perfection. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You said moves are terrifying. Okay. I'm going to take the shade here, Nude Vino. And put this in this area right in the front. That's a decently deep shade, surprisingly. They can run on water. Okay. Did not know that. That is an interesting fact. Um, yeah. Oops, sorry, guys. That's crazy. Okay, that's pretty. No, that's a pretty little shade there. So that could go in the crease too. I'm quite surprised. I don't I didn't remember that that had that much depth. I know it's not like a lot of depth, but it's more than what I was expecting from that shade. Okay. Let's go next. <laughs> Those animals have absolutely no chill whatsoever. And they get eaten by a type of orca. Okay. How do you know all this information? <laughs> You have all these facts. Oh my goodness. Y'all are hilarious. Oh, you guys, has everyone noticed how many pink and purple palettes are coming out this spring? I um I have not, but I have not sometimes I I miss out on new releases like upcoming and stuff. But when you guys had mentioned, you guys had mentioned the new Urban Decay palettes, I did go palette, I think there's just one, um, coming out. And it's cool. But now I know why you guys say, can we please stop it with the neutral with a pop of teal? Because that's what that one is. Um, that new Urban Decay that's coming out. It looks pretty. I don't think I'm going to, oh, I know I'm not going to get it. <laughs> Unless I see like a bunch of reviews that are just singing its praises. But at this point, I don't think I'm going to get it. It looks cute, though. I'm not a fan of that packaging. That tint. Isn't that the tin packaging? You're not a pinks and purple person, Monique. Amanda said goat is tasty and not terrifying. Have I had goat? No, I haven't. Um, okay, now I'm going to go with, what are we going to go with, Ashley? All right, let's go with this one, this shade here. It's called Center Eyelid, and it's more of a silver tone. And what I'm going to do is use that on this brush here. It's a, you know, Mac 242, but I can get real precise with this. And my application, I'm actually going to spray it as well, just so I can, I'm going to do like a reverse little cut crease situation. Speaking of cut creases, Marlo is going to be talking about how to achieve a cut crease tomorrow on her live. Right? Wait, is that tomorrow? Or was it wasn't today? I think it's tomorrow. Okay. This is so cute. The shine. The shine. the shine okay this is so cute i like this <sighs> oh 
Lorraine, you said you're good with Divine Rose 1 and Divine Rose 2. Yeah, so uh, you did not get the new little quad then. And next for the look, let's try this one. This one is a duochrome down here too. It's called Livid. All right, and I'm going to put that on the rest of the open space. And pat that in there. This is really cute. This is nice. I like this. I'm taking a little bit on top of the silver just to fade it in to the other shade. Well, thank you, Monique. Yeah, I'm purple. Purple. I like me some purple. <laughs> I like me some purple. Thank you. Thanks, Mo. Thank you, Mo. And thank you, Monique. <laughs> Lorraine, you said you learned how to do a cut crease decades ago using a spoon as a guy. The 1980s trick. That's so interesting because wasn't that like a, you know, they had these hacks that everybody was was going around on social media and some little like makeup hacks and people were like using a knife or a spatula to, to get their contour going and stuff. And then, you know, they were, the videos were going around for a while and it was just crazy. Like use a fork to do something. It was ridiculous. Oh, thank you, Marlo. Thank you, Kima. Thank you, guys. This hair. Okay, I'm going to add some depth because the smoke shade, you know, it can provide, it provides some depth, but I'm going to go in with the lash line shade. So, and that's that dark, almost black tone. Sweep that in. And then do a nice little swirl. And the interesting thing about this shade, the black, I mean, it's blending in with that, um, you know, this duochrome shade we use. So it's turning a little, it's like a, it looks like a blackened, Plum instead of like a dark gray black shade that's in the glam palette. So it's combining nicely with the metallic shade. And I said I was going to do something more neutral. This is not neutral. <laughs> My intention was to was to do something that's like more silver or gold and then just add a pop of color. This is not a pop of color. This is color with a pop of silver. Oh, well. <laughs> My bad. Oh, good. Your order from Cleona is finally on the way. That's good. How long have you been waiting? Like a couple months? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Goodness gracious. Get out of there. Okay. Everything on the site is sold out. Yeah, I haven't even tried <laughs> to look at their website to purchase anything. I'm like, I don't have the patience to wait that long. 
but I'm sure this stuff is beautiful, especially because I'm not even really that much of a single eyeshadow type of a person, not type of a person, but you know, like I prefer palettes. So yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see about this brow bone shade here. Um, okay, it was a couple of months ago, okay. <laughs> you said I have small hooded wrinkled eyes, but I keep them clean though. That's hilarious. <laughs> is that a reference to next Friday? I really enjoy that movie. That movie is so funny. As you said, those, those are tens, but I keep them clean though. <laughs> or was, what was they? Were they tens? No, they're not tens. 15? I don't know. Whatever the size was. Okay. <laughs> I keep them clean though. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Day Day's hilarious. All right. <laughs> Sweet. I'm sweeping the smoke shade on the lower lash line. I know, Amanda. We were on live and then somebody's type Debo died. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate to hear. <laughs> Them ships. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was wondering, because you guys know we had a, like a whole conversation about who wanted to start channels and stuff. I know Aces was going to do a podcast, I thought. Was Aces supposed to do a podcast? Chai was talking about a channel or maybe a podcast too? I know there was a couple of us or a couple of you all talking about starting some stuff this year. Okay. I don't need to add anything. This is a very cool eye. Very cool toned. And I'm liking it. It's cute. So we've done all that. Now I want to add some blush. I know I'm going out of order. Oh, you're starting a channel? What is your channel going to be about? <clears throat> Pardon me. I didn't even set the rest of my face. Kima, you want to do a podcast. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, time for the water. Yeah, I'll subscribe too, of course. Yes, the minute Chai starts a channel, she's going to get like so many subscribers. <laughs> um, Blush. Oh my goodness, Amanda, you said you would start a drama channel talking about how everybody's crazy. <laughs> I'm going to use this uh, liner. This is the coal liner from Wayne Goss in the Deep Amethyst shade. I was going to do my blush next, but then I got sidetracked and didn't remember. So here's the eyeliner.
Excuse me. You had said you have big eyes and a big butt. <laughs> Kima flex. Kima flex on us. All right. Goodness. Sorry for all the sniffles, guys. I'm going to put that on the lower lash line as well, on the water line. <laughs> she said that thing is heavy. <laughs> You want your Amanda says she want her butt to look round. Lorraine said you're gonna get very active on uh, Instagram. That's good. That's good. I um I need to improve my activity on Instagram. I just post every once in a while, which I need to start doing more. Oh, thank you, Monique. Thank you for the understanding. I'm like. Because I have to have my fan on some type of airflow up in here because it gets hot, extremely hot upstairs. I'm going to put the Chantecaille mascara on. I was going to do lashes tonight, but we've been on for a while already, so I don't want to prolong it. And I know you guys always say it's okay, but, you know. Is Instagram less toxic than Facebook and Twitter? Well, I am not on, I'm barely on Twitter. I just check other people's, what other people have said occasionally. But the people I follow on Instagram are pretty cool. But I follow mostly makeup accounts. So. And then some like office memes and stuff like that. Oh, good, Lorraine. Go ahead. Definitely. Your um that's your Instagram name? Okay, uh Lorraine Johnson Coleman. Okay. Same. I don't really know of any uh Kima because I stay away from it, I guess. So I'm on Facebook for family connection mainly. That's all I do. Yeah, um, I've heard that Twitter can be quite a mess. <laughs> so, Let's see.
Wow. That's awesome, Lorraine. That sounds very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, same, uh, Kima. All right. For blush today, I'm going to use this Tom Ford. Where's my Tom Ford blush? Tom Ford, Tom Ford. Okay. This is um, in the shade Gratuitous. Thank you, Lorraine. Monique said, you're scared when you go live, but you still go live because it's fun to make up even if you make mistakes. Certainly, Monique. Yeah, don't be afraid. I mean, I'm saying that, but I, I feel you. When I first started it, I'm like, oh my gosh. And so if you're, especially if you're like a perfectionist and you want everything to be good, like it can be challenging. So I hear you, but that's nice that you keep going and stuff and keep doing it. And this is a Sonia G Cheek Pro. Just in case anyone was curious. Yes, Chai, I am too. I'm like... When you go, when you get your channel and stuff, we're going to do a collab. <laughs> you said that's your um, most used cheek brush. Yeah, it's nice. It's a good one. I think I want to add some bloom. I don't know. I just want to add a little bit more color. This is cute. But I want to add something else to the cheeks. Ashley, I used to suffer with allergies. <laughs> oh, sure. You can. Yeah, sure. You'll hold me to it. Yes, certainly, man. Like all the support and stuff you give to everybody. Come on now. You know. No, it said wash hands, Amanda. It so it, it looked like he was telling everybody to wash their hands. <laughs> it didn't show an emoji at all. Oh, Lorraine, that's very kind of you. You want to help new voices, and all of you are so beautiful and talented. That is really nice. Thank you, Lorraine. Nikki said, Lorraine's got some authored books on Google and you're gonna have to check them out. Wow. That's pretty fantastic, Lorraine. Oh, Kim was making a recommendation. Farmer's Market and got the local honey put inside her tea and started helping you with your allergies. What kind of tea do you drink? <laughs> when she beats that face, she gets the bad nose eyes and work in the room. You are so funny. <laughs> Yes, me too. I'm going to, I have to remember to do that when I get off of here. All right, I'm going to take a little bloom just to add a little bit of pink, a little bit of, you know, more pinky. Oh, thank you, Marlo. All right, you have a wonderful evening and I will see you tomorrow on your live. All right. I just wanted to add a little bit more, you know? 
I want her to come out with more of these shades, you know, more of the cream blushes, not uh, like in a deeper tone. She can just do the same formula, the same bloom formula in like, I don't want to say purple, but um, like peach, coral, something like that, that will show up on deeper skin tones and lighter skin tones alike. Now, I know I put a lot. I'm going to buff it out. Okay. <laughs> I know I did a lot. I did a lot, but I'm going to, I'm going to buff it out. Okay. Do I have any other powders around me? No, I'm just going to use this here. Oh, maybe this one. <laughs> this Becca. Yes, a purple. Oh, yes. This Becca powder that I talked to you all about that I've that I've actually complained about. <laughs> I'm going to try it. I'm still going to try it. Shoot, I got two of these things, so. Okay, that did the trick. All right, and then you drink ginger, chai, etc. It's the local honey, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I used to take um, bees, bee, bee pollen, bees pollen, bee pollen. Like the there's actual like little pebbles of bee pollen that I could get from the health food store. Um, so I used to take that for allergies and I just stopped doing it because I just didn't like taking the little pebbles. They just tasted, they were just really strange. <laughs> so I used to take bee pollen actually for, um, for, for the allergies and I just got away from it. So that is a good recommendation. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. You said you're tempted to buy Leela again. You returned it last time without trying it. Wow. What made you return it? What made you return it? Black seed oil. I never heard of that, Monique. Yeah, they can be uh, quite a mess. Thank you, Lorraine. You said you want to help a new generation of women become celebrities or whatever it is they want that you can help with. We are a community. Thank you so much. Monique said you, you have the mini Leela and you've never used it. Did that one get good reviews? I don't remember. Because I know some of her minis get mixed reviews and things. I know I don't have it. When you first moved here, you were miserable, and the doctor told you to use local honey. Okay. You never bought the mini palettes, Lorraine. Yeah, I've only got, I think, three of them. Oh, I should put something on my lips. That would be good to do. And it looks like I'm just going to use the walk of no shame. Oh, I didn't put this thing on this cream shadow. Whoops. I forgot to put my little 
thing. Um, let me do that real quick because I'll walk out of here and forget and it'll be a whole day. You just got the mini gold and you're in love with that one. Yeah, it's a good one. That is a good, uh, that's a good mini right there. All right. Deep, whatever. I mean, walk of no shame. <laughs> oh, no. What? Ugh. I don't want this lipstick with this one, with this eye look. I might just have to go with it. Oh, I didn't have to go with it. I could have used... No, I couldn't have. See, I put things in my purse, like lip products in my purse to go with me for the day or in my baby's diaper bag to go with me for the day. And then I end up leaving them there, which is not what I'm supposed to do. Okay. I'm going to use ground control lip liner. And then I'm going to put this Lucky Diamonds on top. Get some shine. I like this. This Lucky Diamonds product from Charlotte Tilbury. It's pretty. Let's see, Monique, you said you're done with classes. You took comp exams and passed the two parts. What in the world? They threw out everyone's stats and research tests and they're, you're filing a formal grievance across the against the school. Sheesh, that's crazy. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. I think it all came together nicely too. That's awesome, Monique. Once you pass the other two parts, you're moving on to your dissertation. That's pretty cool. Okay. So this hair, like I had it, had an idea for it, and it just didn't come together with this whole, <laughs> with this whole um makeup doing situation. I had a little Bantu knots in and stuff. And because my hair is blown out, it just like doesn't stay for very long. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, you guys, well, this, these are the two looks with the Glam and the Leela, and I think they came together very nicely. It's cute. I'm ignoring that. You don't about this hair situation flipping, flopping around? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, seriously. Oh, congratulations, um, Nicole. You said you finished yours in December. 
That's awesome. Look at all these people with their doctorates and stuff. You go, guys. That's fantastic. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. I appreciate that. Yeah, Monique, that sounds strange to just throw out test scores and not tell anybody what the heck is going on. That doesn't make sense. Yes. Well, okay, you guys, I'm going to let y'all go, but this is it. Thank you all for tuning in. It's been really fun. Like Lorraine said, it's been a real fun live. I appreciate all you guys coming through. And um, thank you, Kima, for being the moderator again tonight. And congratulations, everybody. Oh, say a prayer for your dad. Certainly, Lorraine. A healing prayer. You don't have to um, say deets. You don't have to tell details. The Lord knows what the prayer is for. So I was just like to ask. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Prayers for healing. Amen. And thank him for his service. Yes. Okay, Lorraine. We will say a prayer for him. I'll, you know, I'll say a prayer for him, certainly. Complete and total healing. Thank you, guys. I'm going to put that for anybody watching the replay so they can say a prayer as well. Oh, I didn't model each eye. That's why I have, I'm like, well, I got a palette in my hand. Because Chai told me I didn't model the eye. So here we go. All cool tone. A little bit of cut crease action. And here's the other one. This is a little warmer tone, gold, reddish, purple. Real cute. Yes, amen. Prayers for your comfort, too. That's got to be tough. Yes. Three purple hearts. Wow, that's amazing. All right, you guys. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I hope I see you all tomorrow for our full face of Black-owned makeup brands and stuff like that. Thank you, Kima. I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, full face of Black-owned makeup brands tomorrow. And I will be talking to you guys then. Once again, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this live. Subscribe if you're not already. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss another upload or a live chat. <laughs> yeah, sweet dreams, everybody. And I will be talking to you all tomorrow. Have a good evening, guys.